This past weekend, our local rally organization conducted its annual Rally in the 100 Acre Wood. It's a high-speed car race through Ozark foothills of rural Missouri, and it's an annual event, a favorite of many national competitors. As the weekend wound down, I've been struck by the machinations of the 350 plus volunteers and many levels of leadership that come together to produce a relatively seamless event of this magnitude. How this all clicks is fascinating. It reminds me of a favorite book of mine called Flow by Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. In his book, Csikszentmihalyi summed up his concept of flow this way. The best moments in our lives are not the passive, receptive, relaxing times. The best moments are usually occur if a person's body or mind is stretched to its limits in a voluntary effort to accomplish something difficult and worthwhile. If ever there was a philosophical explanation of the sport of rallying from either the competitor's point of view or the organizer's, this nails it. There's nothing passive or relaxing about a rally weekend. First, there's an effort to use 350 plus volunteers with jobs as varied as law enforcement to race management to retail sales to produce a memorable event. Then there are competitors who bring their teams from all over the U.S., sometimes traveling for days to get here. And all of it comes together in a dance whose outcome is never quite certain. There can be the thrill of victory or there can be the agony of defeat, to steal an iconic ABC sports quote. Csikszentmihalyi found there are six common characteristics when an effort was in a state of flow. There's intense concentration. There's a deep sense of involvement. There's a sense of control. There's high enjoyment or interest. There's certainly a distorted sense of time. And there's ecstasy. I hope you've had the opportunity to experience flow at some point in your life when time stood still when your involvement was total and immersing, when concentration obliterated hunger, when the conclusion was an explosion of emotion. I've watched sports teams in flow. The 2011 Cardinals come to mind, 10 games out of labor, on Labor Day and World Series champs by the end of October. But for four days in March, every year, for 22 years now, a whole bunch of us have abandoned our normal lives and live in flow totally immersed, concentrated, time warped, sleep deprived, for the absolute joy of providing a stage for some of the most talented drivers on earth to play in their own flow. And this will happen again seven more times this season all across the country in the nine event national championship and dozens of other smaller venues in other places. Rallying just seems to attract flow. And I'm ecstatic about that. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.